Right, so we've got some uh, land to go at here today. We found lots of old horseshoes, so uh, we'll get on and see how we see if we find anything. We'll show you what we find. So let's get on and dig. I've got, got a signal here, but it's a bit strong. I think it'd be one of these cow things that dose cows with, you know, like uh, little toothpaste tubes full of It's a, it's a little button. So I was wrong. Tiny little button. Probably not very old, but I'm going to see what the writing is when I get it home. Yeah, so we'll see what that is. What are we doing in two minutes? We've found some already. Right, let's get on and dig some more. Right, big signal here. The whole shoot. Like an intact bullet, is it? Yeah, it's a live bullet. It's a live bullet. Oh, okay. Dear. <laughs> Best hand that into the police station or something like that. But anyway, that's about five minutes. Two signals. That was a fair ring. Fair ring if it went off in your pocket, so that'll be getting disposed of. Right, on we go. Signal there. I can just see it on the corner. It looks like some brass or something. Can you just stay on the edge of there? Just on the edge of my shovel, so I haven't caught it. Looks like it's another button. Modernish button, actually. I don't know. Can't tell there's a number on the front or something. We'll get some off that. I don't know, really. It's two zero three five eight. Hmm. Well. It's interesting, but we'll have a look at that later on when we clean it up. Yeah, I can just see it on the corner at all. There's a bit of something in here. Oops. Gently she comes. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. It's a coin, it's 1862, so it'll be a young Budhead Victoria. It's in quite good nick. That's very nice. I've just caught the edge of it with shovel, I think, which is Ham-fisted. Ham-fisted, yeah. I don't know if you can see her, she's there like. Britannia's a bit better, 1862, just about there. That's good, that's cool, that give a good signal. Well, on we go. Howdy folks, found something else here. It's what we call a bit of a coin ball. The uh, soil tends to grab hold of the coin. Well, I think I found a nut the other day, so we'll open it up and see what it is. Let's hope it's a coin. No, it's not a coin. It's a crap ball. Turn it off, it's shit. <laughs> right then, I've got a signal in here, about six inch deep. Give a hell of a belt, I don't know what it is. What is it? Oh no, it looks like top off something. What does it say? Twig. And England. I don't know what on earth that is. It's like the screw top or something with England written on it. So you get these mysteries, clean it up and see what it is. There you go, something different. Right, I think I've got a little coin ball here. You see something on the edge. 
crack it open. It's, oh, oh my god. It's Am. Oh no, it's not. It's Elizabeth. I thought that was II. hammered. Didn't you? It's Elizabeth II, but what is it? It's not a, it's not a coin, is it? Oh, that was a bloody hammered there. What the hell is it? I don't know. It's not a coin to buy. It's like a medallion, it's a coronation something. A coronation. It's like some kind of commemorative coronation thing. I think it's, I can't see it myself. I'll clean it up and have a look, but it's definitely Queen Elizabeth. There's nothing on the back. What is it? I can't really see anything on the back, but it's definitely Elizabeth II, but some kind of coronation commemorative thing. I don't know. We'll clean that up and have a look on the roundup. Struck a signal here, and it's a. Ooh. Ooh, I don't know. Chunk of lead. Chunk of lead, I think. Trading token or. I don't know. Is there anything on it? Bag seal. I don't know. I see a lot of it. Like a bag seal, so. Clean that up a little bit. Right, we're just taking a dinner break down by the river, base camp. It's a nice place to base camp. Kids are down here, Mrs. is down here. Me and Donna just taking a break. Barbecue's cooking. Treasure Hunter's dinner. Hazel, do you want to show your fish that you've caught? Uh, I don't know what to say. Go. What's in there? We've got two minnows. Yeah. Are they going on the barbie or not? No. No. <laughs> a wave. There have it. Beautiful place for dinner. Bit of a dinner interval. We're going to get some food now, so. And then get back hunting. We've got a faint signal in here, so it's either something deep or something small, so. Turn this thing on. Circular, it's just dropped out. Is it a coin? No, it's not. It's got a thing on back. But judging by the thickness of it, it looks pretty old. No markings on it. Oh, yeah, there it is. There is like a. You probably can't see it. It's like a faint sort of mark on it, so we'll clean that up and have a look. But another button onwards and upwards. Yes. Just had a signal here, and it's a, by the looks of it, it looks like a Russian flax bale seal, lead seal for the bales of flax, which were used by the local mills, and then put onto the land as fertilizer. There's a guy called P. Savens Jed that digs a lot of these up not too far from here. It definitely is, though, yeah. I think it's written in Cyrillic. Got there. What have we got? Should have like a. This should be a, a date. Name it flax grower. Quality of flax, but it says there's a full website. Have a look at it. 1830, 1831. I don't know. I can't quite read that. But that should be the date about there. I think we've had. We've had four. This is a fifth from this field. That's a good find. I'll have that cleaned up and get it home and see what it is. See if we can decipher it. Nice one. Hopefully more coming. Right then, we've got a big signal. It is a big signal. We've got a giant horseshoe. Ugh. But at least it shows that there's people farm work been going on. It's not a very old one, judging by the shape, but at least there's been stuff going on. Not very exciting, but uh, we get on and find something a bit better, hopefully. Right, found another something. Taking the plug out. Oh, a headless, a headless something. I think to have cut the head off something. So I must have sliced it because I can't. 
I don't know what that is. It looks like a lead horse to me. Anyway, the headless horse is being over. So I'm going to film Dan's headless horse up there. I've just popped myself a coin out here right near the car, as it always happens. I don't know what this is. It's a penny. Nineteen fifteen, I think. Where's it at? 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 1915. There he is, George. Right there, folks, here's the roundup of today's haul. Got a load of course shoes, various ages. That's quite an old one, that's a keyhole one. They call them keyholes because they're a bit nipped at the top and look a bit like a keyhole when you turn them upside down. So that's, they can be from like Tudor times onwards. So you're not really, you can't be too sure what age they are. And then the finds. So nothing spectacular, but a few interesting bits. Start off on my pitiful bit first. <laughs> I think that's, it says England on it. I think it's top of a radiator or something. And then we've got the headless horse that I managed to cut off. Oh, I think it's a horse. We can't tell because it's not got a head on it. And then a little button there. This one's quite interesting. It's maybe a bit dark to see. But it does have some writing on an inscription and it's really really thin so it's got some edge to it I don't know what it is I'll try and decipher it and put it in the description if it's of any 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 interest which it probably isn't I've got another button I didn't film that that's quite an old one I think that's a brass one or a bronze one or a, something like a domed one with some ridges so that's my haul nothing spectacular no coins today now here's key stuff Managed to get himself a Victorian 1862 young head penny. Again, you probably can't see it because they've dried out. They're a bit hard to see. I've got a button, best quality London. And then this one, well, let's do this one. That's another penny, George V, 1915. Another button. Another kind of stud thing with some numbers on. It says... 2358 whatever that is if anyone knows what that is and then this one which initially I thought was a hammered when it came out because it's got like indentations it's like looks like it's been hammered but it's just a little sort of commemorative button type thing or a little badge 1953 Queen Victoria's coronation Queen Elizabeth oh I Queen Elizabeth that's it <laughs> and then this round lead disc which it's got to be for something, it can't just be a random piece of lead, so I think that might be some kind of trade token or something like that. And then finally, the PS de Resi Resistance, an 1831 Russian flax bale seed, bale seed, bale seal, with all the Cyrillic Russian writing on, and that's dated 1831, which are very hard to find because they go so deep and they give such a, such a faint signal, you need one of these super duper million million pound machines we found five so far it's three two to keith but uh yeah. but we'll get there i didn't we're blank today so anyway that's about it just a couple of hours in sun today having a quick swipe about a few weird things so that's it we'll uh we'll try and film something a bit more exciting next time we go out